We begin here with frustration from the Cleveland City Council. Residents are fed up with crime and something needs to be done about it. Today, council members met with the police chief to talk about the city's rising violent crime. Our Matt Rascon was there. City leaders have been anticipating the meeting for weeks. This is no way to live. In fact, it's not living, it's just existing. An opportunity to express frustration on the growing violence in Cleveland. I have to ask the question, when and how do we take the gloves off? Because where we're going and how we're going right now, it's not working. And to talk about how the city is tackling crime. And we're frustrated too, but again, we do have a plan in place and that's the mayor's, uh, Mayor Bibbs Rides Initiative. Homicides and vehicle theft are up and some anger was directed at the state. The fact that the government has been to East Palestine how many times, but in, 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 in Columbus, in leadership in Columbus, the perception really seems to be that if it's black and brown people dying in our cities, that that's just something that, that, that that's, that's, just, that's just how it is. The police chief said they have 1,231 sworn officers. More than 250 are eligible for retirement, and they're on track to hire 36, far below the 180 budgeted. We probably are not going to get there. No, sure, no, I'm not, not going to try to sugarcoat it. Okay. No. But the public safety director said negotiations with police unions and a new marketing firm would help recruit and retain officers. And we are making the adjustments that are necessary to, to lead to increased police staffing and a reduction in crime. Still, council members remain fed up with the lack of progress in the streets. The proof will be in the pudding. I look at the numbers. We are at record levels of violence and crime in the city of Cleveland. The meeting lasted more than four hours. The mayor's office also pointed to recent new investments in public safety and shot spotter tech that has saved lives. Russ. Okay, Matt Rescone here in the studio. Thank you.